Good afternoon from the parking lot of Epcot. Jen is finally here yes. to go to Festival of the Arts. We tried to go before, <laughs> ran out of time, it got too cold, all kinds of different things happened. But today we are specifically going to Epcot for Festival of the Arts. I have all of the booths I want to go to, all of the foods I want to try. It's kind of a lot, so I hope we get through it all. Mm, we'll get through at least some of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm hungry. I brought my, my hungry stomach. Ooh. I'm good. I brought my second hungry stomach. <laughs> and we got Jackson and he's got his hungry stomach. Yeah, that little babe. This is exciting. It is. I'm, I like, I feel good about today. It's beautiful out. Oh, it feels so much better today than it did the other oh, day. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is. It says it's 80 degrees outside, but there's like a slight breeze. It doesn't feel like Clouds 80. keep coming and blocking out the sun. Fantastic. This is how we wished it was the other day. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's let's Festival of Arts it up. We did have to mention though that today is the last day of Festival of the Arts. So we're just like coming in by the skin of our teeth. But this is really just more for us to be able to try the food. Well, more for me to be able to try the food than, than like an update because it ends today. Right. So I'm sorry about that, you guys. But I just really wanted to try some of the food this year. Yeah. But we will show you guys some of the updates around Epcot because there's a lot going on. Yeah. So I kind of explained this during the Regal Eagle video, but it, it was so windy that it probably didn't make much sense and we were trying to get over to Regal Eagle. So here's what it is. We are underneath Spaceship Earth and there's so much construction going on right now that normally you could go left or you could go right and you would just go around Spaceship Earth and end up heading back the main drag to uh, World Showcase. But right now you can go left and it takes you over by Cosmic Rewind now or if you go right, it takes you over by the seas with Nemo and friends. So you're going way around the outside of Future World. And it's very confusing. Also, there are no bathrooms this way now. They're all under construction. The only bathroom is over here to the right of Spaceship Earth. So normally we would go to the right, but I wanted to show you guys what is to the left of Spaceship Earth. So the entrance to the park is kind of back there. Here's Spaceship Earth. This is the exit of Spaceship Earth. Back there is where the pin station used to be, the gift shop that sold pins. And then over here is guest relations. And then we are headed in this direction towards, this is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This walkway brings us so close to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. It's right there. It is really interesting that during all this construction, we get such unique views like this right here. There's Mission Space. Don't normally get to see it from this angle. Right next to Cosmic Rewind. And look, you can see right inside of it. They have a scrim up so you can't really see very much, but you can see it's very much still under construction. And today is the last day to get our pass holder magnet for Festival of the Arts. So we're gonna get ours right now. We came into Mouse Gear real quick to give somebody a cool hat. I like how big it is. It look, makes him look like a little cone head. It is a little bit big, but we just needed something for him. And I thought they would have a smaller hat for babies, but yeah. this is it, buddy. Mouse Gear is pretty scarce right now. Yeah. But at least, at least it's a cool hat. Yeah. Oh, the living sculptures are coming out right now. This is exciting. She's gonna go get her photo taken with him. Ooh, oh no. Test track is still closed for refurbishment. I believe it opens back up on the 28th. So soon, I don't hear any cars going by, but it does smell like burning rubber over here, which is strange. There's a little booth over here called Taste Track that is not open yet, but we're waiting for it to open. It's coming soon. You sort of see the menu in there, but all we can see is that they're selling Dasani and Powerade. There's also this place over here called Cool Wash that I thought was closed. Seems to be back open now where you can get Create your own layered slushies. Coca-Cola, Cherry Fanta, and then you got all these different toppings that you can put on it. They're pretty interesting looking, but I thought it was closed because it was closed the last time that I came and looked at it. Now it's back open again. Another thing that you can see is now that Festival of the Arts is ending, they're starting to prepare for Flower and Garden Festival. See, they've added in the flower quilt work over here. It's very beautiful. There's an Epcot bunny. And then we talked to some people and they said that there's a baby bunny that keeps popping out. There's the little baby bunny. Do you th um, know about how old they are? Or is it? Yeah. Two or three months ago, he was about half the size. Oh, wow. They so grew he's... quick. Yeah. So we were looking for artist table and I got it confused with Pop Eats. Yeah. I'm like, oh, it's right there. 
it was not all the way across the lake yeah so, so now we're gonna head to china for the shumai yeah because i had that but you haven't had that yet no but it looked really good so i want to try it just want to show you guys it's actually kind of crowded for a weekday at the end of a festival but it was princess half marathon weekend so right, put the baby in here. it's monday after that all right we're making our first stop yeah for you to get some food i'm gonna try the spicy shumai yeah it's a beef shumai this one was a little bit pricey i think it was like 10 bucks or 11 bucks for three of them yeah so we'll see if it's worth the price i'm gonna get the uh char siu yeah it sounded good too yeah i had it before mm -hmm. very good they also have a sugar artist at the china pavilion and this is some of the stuff that he makes it's like a rooster so here's what we got from the painted panda got the char siu bun which is just uh pork pork bun and this is the spicy beef shumai. I did like this one, but like we said, it was a little bit expensive. And this, this one was really also good. tasty. Yeah, you can try it. I've already tried it. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, do I eat it all in one bite? That's what I did. It's pretty big though. It is pretty big. Oh yeah, you have to get the pickle though too. That's what made it so good. With it? Yeah. I might eat it and then put the pickle in. Okay. That's a big bite. Let's have a, a look at the background while Jen has a large bite. Look how beautiful it is around World Showcase here. Mm. It's good? Give me a thumbs up if it's good or a thumbs down if it's bad. Ooh, nice. It tastes very heavily of spicy mayonnaise. And then you get the like sweet cucumber underneath. Um, so it's very sweet and spicy. I love it. I think it, for Disney festival prices, I understand why it's $10 because it is a large portion. Well, large portion. Um, in the real like the real world i would say it's definitely not worth the price but at disney it's sort of worth it kind of it is very delicious but it is very spicy all right i've had this before and i enjoyed it this is the char siu some pork so the pork is kind of a little bit chewy but it's not overly chewy and it has this like fruit stuff on the bottom here kind of gives it a little sweet flavor yeah, good. <laughs> not no, no spice at all though compared to the shumai. Oh no? Yeah, no, it's not spicy at all. But it is good. It's like a nice fresh flavor. The bun is not too chewy, but it does sort of get stuck to your teeth. Mm -hmm. It's good. I would, like I said, I ate it once and I ate it and I'm eating it again. So now that you've had your first taste of Festival of the Arts, what do you think? I miss this. So the other day we came and we had to leave early because it was so cold and I was so sad that we didn't get to eat any Festival of the Arts stuff. Yeah. And I'm, I feel so happy now. Yeah, it's like, so good. I, it, this made my day. Heck yeah. Yeah, so I'm having a wonderful day now. The next thing that I'm going to try is a uh, vegetarian dish, plant-based sausage. I'm excited. Where at? At the refreshment outpost up here. Ooh, and I think they have, is this where the fish is? No. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Gotcha. Okay, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but confusing because Refreshment Outpost isn't a festival booth. It's just like a regular place. That's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get this plant-based bratwurst. Hey there, bird. How's it going? I just came over to like, we're like Disney princesses here. So Jen got the Corvina and I got the plant-based sausage. This is from Cuisine Classique over here by Germany, whereas mine was from the Refreshment Outpost. This is all vegetarian. Got some jackfruit on it, barbecue jackfruit, and a plant-based bratwurst underneath. And this is a nice fish. This is also on the color trail that we didn't get to do this year. Um, we're right in front of Germany, and we're listening to the pop rock German band. I don't know their name, but they sounded pretty good. And so I got the seared corvina from Classic Cuisine Classique. So this is like a seared white fish and a ratatouille and some sauce. Hopefully a rat didn't make it. <laughs> Even if he did, I feel like I would still like it. All right, give it a try. Let's see. Oh, it's just falling apart right on your fork? That's yeah. That's pretty, pretty easy to pull apart, though. It's right? fish. Well, I know, but like sometimes fish is like overcooked or... Hmm. Is it really good? This is really good. I know that not everybody is really into fish, but this is delicious. Wow. We're from Baltimore, but we've lived here 45 years now. Oh, wow. That's a long time ago. I would order an entire plate of this. It has like a nice, like a buttery crust on it. And uh, I love this ratatouille. We have one here, he's a drummer with the Disney You want to try some of the vegetables? No, I want to try my, my vegetarian dish. Okay. I love this. I would order this again every, all day, every day. Oh, it's so big. Is this like a full size thing? It might be because it was from Refreshment Outpost. So let's give it a, let me get a napkin. 
at the ready. Okay. There's like a weird sweet curry flavor in it that does not go with it at all. Yeah, I don't like this. Oh no, you ordered a big one. I know, the mustard on it is really good, the slaw is really good, the jackfruit is really good, but there's like some sweet curry flavor. It tastes like they crumbled up a gingerbread cookie oh, no. and put it on here. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. It tastes like a gingerbread cookie. There's so much ginger flavor to it. Let me try it. I don't believe you. All right. That sounds too weird. It's very weird. Okay, so I tried it and I believe you now. That's not my favorite thing to eat. If you like curry, you might love this. But it tastes like a gingerbread cookie, it right? It does taste like gingerbread. I'm not a fan. It's weird. Not, sorry. That Corvina though, that seared Corvina, two thumbs up. I would order an entire plate of that. It was so good. It was cooked perfectly. I loved it. I'm going to stop off over here at Italy really quick because they have this chicken drumstick stuffed with ricotta cheese and pomodoro sauce sounds really good and really weird looking it has just a bone sticking out of it see what did i tell you guys super weird looking it's like a chicken nugget with a bone sticking out of it looks pretty good though i'm excited to try it last time i had some chicken here it was delicious from the italy pavilion i i can't tell if it's actually like a chicken nugget just on a bone or if it's something else. Well, I think it's a chicken nugget that they shoved a bone into. I don't think it is. No? I think this is because that's like all fat and weird gristle. No. This is so strange. It doesn't look very good because look at the meat. Is it like dark meat? Yes. This is terrible. Oh, no. Wow. So we love the chicken nugget that they had in, what festival was that? Food and I don't wine? know. I think it was food and wine. Yeah. So this one is a no-go. The food and wine chicken yeah. nug was good. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. It's real chicken. That's so bizarre. I'm just eating like a chicken drumstick at this point. It's kind of big. It is. I don't understand how it's so big. Is it the chicken knee? It's a chicken knee. <laughs> this is a chicken knee. It's also hard because like, it's all weird fatty chicken. So this one is a miss for us? Yeah. <laughs> Not the consistency that I wanted. Tonight is the last night for the Broadway series at Festival of the Arts, and this is the line of people waiting to get in. Now is the big moment. We're gonna head to Artist Table and get the Beef Wellington. That's what I've been waiting for this entire festival. I'm excited to try it. All right, so there it is. There is our beef wellington, which looks okay. And then I got Jen the scallop because Jen loves some scallop. Mm. So the scallop is really good. I don't love the little vegetables underneath because it's a lot of red pepper. Mm. And I don't love red pepper, but the scallop is delicious. And, there's a little Parmesan crisp. Mm. That was good. <laughs> the scallop and the Parmesan, delish. Oh, is this meat? Is it? Yeah, it's sausage. That's weird. Huh. Wow, I don't know why they put the sausage in there. But the scallop is delicious. I would take a whole plate of them. And there it is, I cut into the, I cut into the beef wellington. Looks okay. Like not as uh, medium as I would have liked. It looks kind of overdone, but it doesn't feel, when I cut through it, it didn't feel tough. So I'm excited to try it. it smells good. Yeah, it looks good. I feel like that was all mushrooms. Oh, was it? Yeah. I feel like I didn't get any beef in that one. I think what that's what it is. Like this is how thick the beef is inside of there. Oh, it's pretty thin. Yeah, yeah. and the rest is just all mushroom. You like it? Yeah, it still tastes really good, but there's not a lot of beef in it. And our last thing that we're gonna get for the day is the sushi donut. So we finally went to the Japan booth, and this is the only thing I wanted the whole time that we were here was the sushi donut. I've been like dreaming about the sushi donut for this entire month. But we are actually here with some friends that we're so excited to introduce you guys to. So you might know them, the Ballinger family. And we're here with Jessica and Chris and baby Lou. Hey, who's the 
and he's just the cutest little guy. So he is like a month and a half younger, right, than Jackson? Older. Older. Oh, older. It's Sorry. I know, I know, I know. And Jackson's like... <laughs> he is. He's older. Yeah. yeah. But he's just... He's sleeping, so I, I'm probably being very loud. But he is very, very cute, and we're excited to be sharing this day with you guys. But we both ordered the sushi donut. So... And you've not had this before. I have not. So... What are you most excited about? Like, what's your favorite portion? I'm, uh, I love tuna. Okay. So I'm excited about that. But okay. I'm also like, I want to pick it up and eat it like a donut. I but would I assume that that doesn't, <laughs> work. doesn't happen. Doesn't work. Really it's really hard to eat because you have to kind of like cut it with your chopsticks. Oh, okay. That's so, a good technique. Yeah, it's the only way to do it, I think. Did they tell you that? Or did you no, I learned that the hard way. That was something I learned the hard way. But um, should we dig in? Yeah, I think so. Let's do okay. it. Let's dig in. All right. What are you going for first? Going I was for going for the tuna too. Tuna. Okay. Yeah. So well, this is gonna be dual tuna <laughs> tasting. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And you <laughs> have had this before, right? I have. Oh. So which yes. sauce is the best? I really like soy sauce, and they don't give you soy sauce. Is this like a teriyaki? I don't. Re I think it's like a soy reduction. No, it's teriyaki. I think it's sweet. Yeah, and then this is probably a, like a sriracha. I think it's like a spicy mayo and then like a wasabi okay. cream, maybe. Whoa, that is spicy. I'm gonna go for that. The spicy one. The spicy one. Ooh, all right. Are you doing the spicy one too, then? Jen? Yeah, why not? I gotta. I can't, he can't show me up. I have to do the spicy one too. Right. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're eating a sushi. You donut. did it so much easier than me. Oh my gosh. Okay. You're doing great, Jen. <laughs> You're doing it. Okay. Now just quick eat it. All right. Good. Was it good? <laughs> I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have I could have a tuna donut all day long. <laughs> it's it's Chris approved. Now yep. you guys know. A tuna donut. <laughs> we also got vegetable gyoza, which by the way I found out from them how to pronounce it. Gyoza. Oh, okay. It's nice. like you kind of just like say it all together. <laughs> looks pretty I don't know what any of this other there's some saffron in there it looks like. Wow. It's way crispier than I thought it was going to be. It's very good. What are the veggies that are in there? I don't know. They kind of all like run together and they all kind of sort of have root vegetable like flavor. Mm. But this is good. Very crispy and very delicious. Would you order it again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was good. All right, I think it's about time for us to call it a day. So we're headed up towards the front of the park and it's been a good day, good good Festival of the Arts. So now that we're making our way out, what did you think of your very first day, your only day at my Festival of the Arts? My very first and my very last day. Yeah, um, for this year. Awesome. No, I had a really good time because we got to try lots of delicious food and we got to meet up with some new friends. Yeah. And uh, it was just, it was a really fun day. All right, so we are headed out for the night and check out this amazing view of Spaceship Earth. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. You guys, this is like the best view ever. Oh, there he is. There's that baby. This is the best view ever. But we had an awesome day, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We tried so much food. We hung out with new friends. Yeah, you really... guys didn't get to see it, but Jackson got to meet Luke and it was adorable. It was so cute. That was literally the cutest thing. They were talking to each other. They were like kind of sort of like grabbing at each other a little bit. like. It was just really adorable. Yeah. So there you have it. That was the very last day of Epcot's Festival of the Arts. Mm -hmm. I love that festival. I do too. I was kind of sad. There was one item that I wanted to try that I didn't get to try. Oh no. I know it was the salmon. It was oh, like smoked in salmon. Canada. Was it in what is it in Canada? It was like smoked salmon. It looked like a piece of cake kind of. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think it was. Mm, don't quote me on that, but I think it may have been in Canada. It was like smoked salmon layered with something and then layered with smoked salmon and then layered. It looked like a it looked like a little cake. Wow. So hopefully they do that next year and I can try it then. But I had a really fun day. Yeah. Yeah. We stayed a little bit longer than we meant to, but it was really like super fun. We got to try lots of food. Yeah. We got to see some different countries that we don't normally like venture into. Yeah. Got to meet some new friends. Yeah, we had so much fun with the Ballinger family. Yeah, and Jackson got to meet a brand new friend. I know. I we didn't actually show it. Um they hopefully will show it in their video and maybe we can link it whenever they put it up. But Luke and Jackson like were sitting next to each other, not sitting. Like I was holding uh Jackson and Jessica was holding Luke and we were kind of like putting them face to face with each other and they were like talking to each other. Yeah. And I think that Luke is the first baby that Jackson has ever met. Yeah. Right? Like I don't yeah. think he's ever like seen another baby close up. Yeah. So it was just really like a special and like cute and 
It was adorable. It really was. I loved it. Yeah. So. So, but all in all, a fantastic event. Yeah. Like, the Festival of the Arts is so much fun. I think the food is really good. The food is good. Food is Instagram worthy. Mm-hmm. The art is amazing. Yeah. The, like, the things that happen around the park, the living sculptures, mm-hmm. the... Like the shows that were on the stage. Yeah, the like Broadway shows. We didn't watch them, but you could hear them singing. And it was just like, it was really awesome. Like they were doing a great job. Yeah. Um, next like, year we'll have to actually like listen to some of them. Yeah. And then like Art Defying Gravity and like Victor Espanola. And uh, I think Trevor Carlton did some painting up there. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. It's a great event. Yeah. It's really, really, if you're going to go for one of the festivals this is one that we really like it is i think the shortest festival yeah yeah so it's it's only a very short window that you can actually go and and see everything but if you're here during this time i highly recommend it yeah so all in all a fantastic day yeah and with that being said we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow i'm jessica ballinger i'm parker ballinger i'm chris ballinger and we're from the ballinger family and, and now, now it's, it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price, price.